I came up with the idea about five years ago of doing uh, a course that I called Photography in the Community with the general idea that I wanted students to get off campus and into the Houston community in as many different and interesting ways as they could. But last year I decided to change it a bit because uh, I wanted to involve bookmaking in a way. What I do as a photographer mostly is make books. I do photographs and write things and bring the words and the pictures together in a book. That's what I do. And so I thought um, I want to help my Rice students, help kids in the schools do that. So my name is Raymond Chia. I am a junior at McMurtry College studying neuroscience. And today we're going to visit um, some kids at Las Americas middle school um, and we're gonna teach them how to make photography books. So behind me we have our, well this is our PM, our afternoon photo group with our Rice students and for as long as I can remember they've had this partnership with Las Americas with Principal Moreno and with Sarah Howell to bring in students from Jeff's class because they're also getting used to the idea of what is school in America here. And so with this project, they're getting to, you know, talk about a little of their own roots, of their own cultures, but also to tie in what's going on with their lives here. Uh -huh. My title of the book will be different in love in different ways. So love doesn't mean just that you have to love your boyfriend or husband or wife. Life means that love in love all the people that sh that care about you, like your family, your friends, teachers sometimes, even some people, strange people might help you and they might love you even if you don't love them or know them. She separated this into five different categories. So she has home, family, friends, school, and nature. And so with that, she's kind of created a book that has different chapters. And so um, what we're kind of doing right now is we're kind of making statements for each of the chapters just so we can summarize the book and the photos and can mean what she wants them to mean as people flip through them. Um, so her book is very unique from other people's because of those chapters. I think that's my favorite picture of hers and like did you get the idea from this picture that you wanted to do love? Yeah. So pretty. It's beautiful. I think it kind of shows me how every single person has a different lens in the way that they view this world. Um, like some of these pictures, like to me, would mean co something completely different. Like when I look, and and when I look at this picture, for example, I just see like a pretty sunset or a sun setting in a pretty neighborhood. But Sama was able to see her family in the rearview mirror. And so just like that, like just the lens that people have in looking at this world and um, all these kids have brought such unique perspectives and are able to bring these unique perspectives together in order to create a whole book. I think that photography is very unique in that each, each person who looks at it can see what they want to. Um, and so I think that without using words, these kids are able to like convey an entire story. And like I may interpret it a little bit differently than the next person does, but I think like that's the beauty of photography and like something that I'm learning since I've never taken a photography class before. I like want to keep continuing like taking classes like this, interacting with kids who have come as like immigrants and refugees and learning how to like appreciate backgrounds different than my own. Appreciate like listening to people that are like, that don't look at things the same way I do. Just watching their development and watching them go from just taking photos to really think about what's important to them in their lives and what they want in a book. I think that was really amazing and that was something that opened my eyes up to um, how these kids um, can have such um, deep connections with, with the people around them and have such a deep connection to, to what they love and um, how that is portrayed in their art. Rice University is so so culturally diverse and so and you know just just the experiences that Rice students are coming with themselves can mirror what our students you know and give them the hope that there is something greater out there for them too. In a time when it's not always positive things that have that they have coming at them. And so 
just knowing that we have those kinds of connections happening in our community, that's the first amazing thing. But the, the second thing is just exposure to the arts, just exposure to understanding that Sometimes words are how we tell our story and we're used to that, but they are able to express them in a different way that's very non-invasive in some ways. That they can they can do it and it can be out there and it doesn't make them feel like I'm on display. This is my work. You know what I mean? This is what I do. And it's it's not bringing that attention on to me. Positively or negatively, kids sometimes aren't ready for that. They're not ready to tell that story in that way, and so this is really a very good outlet for them. So I appreciate that more than anything. <laughs> you know, I, I love the university. It's where I've spent my whole life, essentially. I love the university community. But the ideal thing for me is having uh, a foot in this world and a foot in the community, in all of its great variety and uh, possibility. To be on campus is wonderful. To be on campus and off at the same time and being able to make those worlds mingle and um, cross-pollinate and play with each other, th that's what's really exciting to me. So there's that um, leading me off campus and leading my students off campus into a community and getting to know it and getting to serve it. Um, that's the most exciting thing about the course. <laughs>